Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to activate and deactivate an uh, integration with the help of REST API. This also will be very helpful for automation uh, point of view. So the endpoint is similar to what we had seen uh, in our uh, previous video that is for uh, retrieve and integration. Only difference uh, what we can notice is the HTTP method instead of get for update integration it's post and there is details on the part parameters, query parameters, header parameters which uh, we need to send and the request okay come at the bottom of this page where you can see the sample request body that is we have to send the status as activated configured if you want to activate an integration we have to send the status as activated uh, if you want to deactivate any already activated integration then we have to mark the status as configured as the request is of type json we have to send the content type as json application json apart from this there is one more uh, header parameter which we need to send that is http method override that is a patch let me create a project in our uh, insomnia tool and we'll try to activate this integration which is uh, currently in configure state i'm here in insomnia tool i have made use of this api which we had uh, gone through just now at the end we have put the id of the integration which we are uh, trying to activate as you can see i've changed the method to post we have to uh, populate the headers that is overwrite header patch this is a custom header and the content of application json as we are sending the json data so in order to activate uh, an integration we have to make this as activated and click on send this will take some time to get the integration activated yeah it has activated our integration let us confirm from the ui let me refresh this screen as you can see this has activated our uh, integration that is in testing now let's deactivate this integration in order to deactivate we have to make this as uh, configured and click on send Yeah, status is con uh, configured. Let us uh, go back to our uh, UI and check. Let me hit this uh, refresh button. As you can see, uh, this has uh, marked as configured. So this activate deactivate uh, integration API is very useful when you are uh, trying to migrate an integration from one instance to instance. Uh, uh, at the time of replacing any existing already existing integration, you have to first deactivate an integration. Then you have to replace that integration post that that you have to activate the integration. So you can achieve this kind of uh, automation with the help of those APIs available over here. Thank you for joining on this video.